we're back, and we're looking for deadly viruses and stuff. Yep. So pretty much, as I said in the last episode, this is a bio. This is a basically a floating CDC, and the Romulans apparently are talking about some sort of bio weapon. And you know, considering that this is apparently full of a bio biohazard virus, yeah, I'd say that's kind of. Well, how did the Romulans even find out about it? Who knows? But I know they got spies everywhere. I guess maybe yeah. they they use spies to find out. But they should have. If they had any decent spies, they would know that it was an accident, not a yep. focus weapon. This is an outstanding facility, Captain. Hmm. Go bother Spock. This is the kind of place he likes. <laughs> a weapon that would harm one of the Federation's most prominent species, report. as well as our enemy. The Nothing to report. Yep. Nothing to report. Okay, I can't scan anything. Apparently there's nothing to report, Ben. Yeah, I don't know. So, time to start rummaging around and taking things. Sure, why not? When in doubt, steal. Yep, absolutely. That's rule number one A of adventure games. A small field effect anti-gravity unit useful for moving things too heavy to lift and carry by muscle alone. Useful! Yeah, anti-gravity things, yay. Take it. You take the anti-grav unit. Woo! Don't tell this me what I do. This is a science lab. Really? I wouldn't have been able to tell that. This is a synthesizer used to combine and replicate chemicals and form new compounds. This particular model has twin gas feeds. Cool. So Fancy. let's let's test it out real quick. And do what with it? Nothing happens. Nothing happens, man. Ah. I guess the feet. I guess it's off right now. So we'll have to figure out a way to turn it on, on or something. Remember last episode that Dr. McCoy did talk about how. Mixing around gases and such would help, could potentially help us with the virus. So, I mean, not haphazardly. We want to know what we're doing. Yeah. It is a standard research lab. Hmm. What's a that thing? Hawking neutrino accelerator. It is one of the finest in production today. It's That's a neutrino accelerator. Yay. You know, the, you know the one. Yep. A cryogenic tube basic compound distillator. Excellent piece of equipment for reducing complex materials to their basic compounds. Oh boy, this place is just as much fun as the actual CDC. Yes. Jim, this lab is incredible. What I wouldn't give to have some of this equipment on the Enterprise. <laughs> One of the fun things about living this in Atlanta is, well is that the CDC is camp. close by. Yes. So if there is a terrible outbreak of a disease that, that humanity's been fiddling with, we'll, we'll be the start here. Yeah, we'll be the sir, first to know. I'm worried about and and die. Yeah. Fun. They outnumber us. As they showed on that, there's one episode of um, The Walking Dead where they actually go. On. <laughs> what do you say? Captain Kirk giving a bit of sass. When you're finished admiring all the equipment, boss, maybe you can help us figure out what's going on here. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Kirk. He's full of sass. Yep. Sass he Master be, Kirk. That's what they call him. He can be actually. Uh, what the hell are these things? Take the wrench. The fusion reactor is functioning oh. at peak efficiency. Oh. There is no need to tamper with its current operation. Yeah. So okay. push all the buttons. Yeah, no, let's not. Take the wrench. That. Take the wrench, Ben. Yep. Ben, take the wrench. Absolutely, I'm taking the wrench. What are you... You know, what? I'm not sure what good a wrench would do in this time period, you especially since whenever wrench. they use a tool in uh, Star Trek, it's never, ever a screwdriver or a wrench, but the sure, why not? reactor doesn't seem to have been tampered with. I suggest we leave the controls as they are. Good thinking, Mr. Sir, Spock. I'll watch the door so we don't get cornered. Hmm. Doing well, an excellent job standing in the middle of the room. Reactor. Very nice. What are we going to tour next? The ventilation system? <laughs> uh, I especially like this, oh, the, the classic station. Star Trek tool of a glowing stick with lights. Yep. Ooh, See, that seems to fix stuff. Ooh, there's a gas. a gas tank labeled N2 with its feed lines running deeper into the wall. Nitrogen 2. Hmm. Take it. Yep. Now, if we find some helium, Take we could really get the part heavy going. With its feed lines firmly attached. Aha. Uh -huh. You ever breathed in helium, Ben, for funsies? Mm, yes, actually. Way back when I was younger. The tank detaches easily. I haven't done yes, it in a while. This made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? Guess that explains the wrench. So... I suppose so. I still think that they wouldn't be using You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank. It can be moved I forget through. what that other gas it is called that makes your voice uh, back, deeper. Sir. Yep. Uh, it's apparently it's fun to mess. That's fun to mess with as helium, but it gets like it sinks this to the bottom of your lungs. So you got to turn yourself upside down and burp it out, otherwise it'll sink. The interior wiring in the equipment, which is uh, not good for you. Mm -mm. What are we looking for now? Well, right now we're just wandering around a little bit. Uh, right now I need a sample 
Uh, that says unit freezer, so let's go ahead and open that up, see what we got in here. And... Dr. McCoy, if you could... There's nothing there requiring a... There's nothing there... All right, make okay. Spock do it. Yeah, seriously, it's like... Rule number one of Star Trek, the original series. Make Spock do it. Nothing to report. Fine, whatever. This refrigerator has a number of specimen dishes inside. I thought that they would, like, scan and check it out. Whatever. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. Yep, it's culture of the actual virus that we need in order to uh, synthesize and do things with, so... Rule number two of adventure games behind Steal Everything, yeah. is, which is rule number one. Culture Wander aimlessly. I can oh, use there we go. Them yeah. to work on a cure. I've seen right. people play King's Quest. I know how much aimless wandering there is. The yep. chamber is empty. Alright, so... Take this. Put this in here. All right, now it's time to play a little bit of mad si of basic mad scientist. Although, As Dr. McCoy said that we need to use gas to mix various gases together in order to happens. come up with nothing happens. Nothing happens, man. Nothing happens because it's being dumb. Nothing happens. Uh, finicky. Yes, very. Although I suppose when you've played an adventure game a million times, you know where everything is, so you don't have to wander aimlessly, but other than there that... There we go. Yeah, unfortunately this time it's a little bit pixel perfect. Gas feed is on. There we go. And now, let's mess around with this. Uh-oh. That's not good. The machine synthesizes a liter of pure water. Oh, good. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. Actually, you will, Mr. Spock. Spock's coffin. This virus affects Vulcans and you Romulans. Take a one liter Who would have guessed? But yeah, unfortunately, there is a time clock. He's now. infected with the virus, Jim. Yep. Oops. Yeah, we kind of suspected that was going to happen. Well, so. You're the doctor, uninfect him. Yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to do here. So yeah, first thing we need to do is we need to figure out. So yeah, uh, pretty much what we need to do is we need to analyze the damn virus and get a clue as to what can be used to actually a, turn it in to do something with it. Do something about it. To There's get nothing there required. All right, doctor. Create an antiviral bin. There is one out there. I just need to fit. I just need to remember where the clue is for it. Because again, I'm trying to get full points here. Spock, check out the station's. Oh, of course. See what so we full points. Up. All right, you know, Mr. Spock, try and try and search the computer, please. Please select subject file. Aha! Here we go. virus. T L T Ouroboros virus. Atypical growth patterns for L type Let's virus. Let's see. Opportunistic pneumococcal mimic affecting Romulo Vulcan genotype. Okay. Etiology: contact or blah, airborne blah, vector. Blah 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 blah. Where's the answer? Collapse. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Immediately upon exposure, tissue dehydration follows normal flooding. Please select Saboraborus T L T D A T L T D H gas. The chemical compound tantalum bilithium non-flammable dihydroxide. Okay, oxide. So that's oxygen. Non-flammable. It's an anesthetic for Vulcans and Romulans. Yep. And temperatures within it makes them laugh. Room. Oh, give it to Spock. Early oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're going to be making some of this. This is going to be fun. In whom it produces it's laughter. Basically, Vulcan laughing. Yes. Of exhilaration, euphoria. I read Let's that it see. causes unconsciousness. It's also not that good. TLT put it on the Romulan became character. popular to cook up some non-conductive uh, tantalolithyl compounds, commonly used in what? In electrical insulation. Please select Saboraborus TL nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. A colorless, non-flammable compound. N two O. Yep, yep, yep. That's human life. Gaseous yep. at one ATM. Please select. That's not going to help. Sounds us. like we Ammonia. need the uh, the Ammonia. we need the Vulcan Romulan laughing gas and to put it in the electrical NH3, system. A common to knock out the Romulan metabolism in carbon-based life forms, liquid or gaseous. There'll be two giggle half. Commonly, compounds, compounds widely used in agricultural, used medical, agricultural, and industrial applications. Medical. Please select or ammonium dihydrogen oxide. Dihydrogen. Water. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Fun. So that those are all the compounds that we can potentially mix up here. So, so what we're going to do... Ammonium and Vulcan laughing gas. 
Mm-hmm. And ammonia sounds like the most yes, promising please. thing since it said that did say that it's commonly used in medical app. Has medical applications. Which is why I assume we so. need that for the cure. Yep. But we're also gonna need that laughing wow. gas to make the Romulans high. Nothing happens. Okay, so I guess we have to use this. Get rid of the oxygen. You attach the anti-grav unit to the gas. And now you put the nitrous in there. Yep. You install the gas tank. Alright, and then well, I guess do it right O2, there. O2 gas feed. Nitrous, yep. Fascinating cap. No. Stop it. There we go. Synthesizes a liter of ammonia. Okay, now hey, drink that. You don't want me to swab the deck with that, Captain. Well, I since we you asked, aside, Lieutenant. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh huh. You failed to obtain. He's not doing much else. He might as well. These yeah. fools could use a good spark. You take a one liter. All right. So pretty much, we then need. So I believe we then take this over. Virus culture is in there, so we can go ahead and use the ammonia on that little receptacle right there. And doctor, if you would please. I certainly see nothing. All right, fine. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, Gotta I'll do, do it myself. myself. This is the most colorful science lab I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, what? Like they put gold and green and red paint on everything. Most labs usually just you know gray and white, maybe a little blue or red splash yeah. in there for color. You take but this looks like a clown works here. No, let's not do that. Come on. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I don't use that here. I don't think. What you is that? Is that the electrical system? Down. Is that where we stick the laughing gas? Done. Yep. Uh. There's a very specific sequence that we have to use this on. The ammonia? Uh, yeah, the ammonia is used. Used. How do we do... What do we do with this? But what about the laughing gas, Ben? The laughing gas will be coming. Fascinating cat. Fascinating cat. But it really is a matter of... I need to figure out what exactly we're supposed to do with this. Oh, that's right. Yeah, all right. So, my apologies, everyone. We put the ammonia in there by itself, and then we use it. I want to see if the Romulans get high, Ben. The chamber is empty. Mm -hmm. The chamber is empty. Yep. The right. chamber's empty, man. There's no specimen in the chamber. All right. <laughs> Damn it, doctor. Test it. He doesn't want uh, to. Bit. There. God. Eureka. This is it, Jim. There's <laughs> not much, but all I need to do is synthesize some more, and we're in business. What? All right. Fortunately, we have the ability to synthesize you more. Uh, it seems as though we've you just discovered the cure to all cure viral sickness. infections. Absolutely. Just pour some ammonia on there, and voila, you got the cure. It's yep. that easy. Absolutely. That's you, all that's required. You, so, yeah. you would think we would have figured that out decades ago, but, you know, you know. They, yep. These guys from the future, they know better than we do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Gas feed. All right, turn that off, and then... Now we make the laughing gas. Well, now we make the cure because Mr. Spot kind of, you know, needs some medical attention quickly. That's just kind of how this works, so... Nothing happens. Them and their time. Alright, in that case... Base, we're gonna produce... Nothing happens. ...massive quantities of this stuff, I guess, by basically combining the cure with more ammonia. Gas feed is... Are there a lot of timed uh, exercises that you have to do in, like, King's Quest or... Uh, Not other adventure games? Uh, it depends on which adventure game you're talking about. There are some in some you King's Quests, the with Ouroboros touch. But, they are but they tend to be very rare. So, yeah. Uh, most of the time, time stuff is either very explicit or it is just not done because you know they want you to they want you to focus on the puzzle solving aspect and have it be sort of a mental challenge. Mr. Spock, come here. What's the other big there, one besides King now Quest? Cured. Thank you, Doctor. Finally, <laughs> a human <laughs> response. <laughs> Raises an eyebrow. <laughs> nice. It wouldn't be Spock if they they couldn't possibly show you him raising an eyebrow. Voice. Yep. But nine times out of ten, when yep. someone says something to Spock, he raises an eyebrow. I'm it's glad they had the wherewithal oh, absolutely. to put that in there. Now we just need to go make some um, Vulcan laughing gas. And the way we do that is... I looked at it briefly before, but 
This insulation, this pan. You need something to. What's the that? Uh, I had open, you say? Open the. What's that? What's that dildo thing? What? Open the thing again. The items you got. Hold on one second. The panel is open. Well, confetti. The vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. Uh, <laughs> so it's not confetti. Yeah. And, so. I, and here I thought we were gonna start a laughing gas party earlier. Well, yeah. What's that? What's that dildo looking thing? Which still don't look Source of raw material for TLC in your uh, in the in the inventory because you're carrying around a blue bag with stuff in it. Oh, that's water. That right there. That that's yeah. that's the hypo spray. Oh, yeah, that, with the cure on it. That doesn't look like no hypo spray I've ever seen, and I've seen hypo sprays. But it um, might be just like a needle or something. You grab but, a handful yeah. of insulation. But no, no pretty much it is how I administer the cure to people, so... He's even holding a handful of it, Ben. All he's got to do is throw it in the air, and we've got ourselves a laughing gas party. Oh, I know. So, yeah, pretty much what we do in order to make the laughing gas is we take this... That's not the right material to put in. Oh, well... Oh, who asked you? Oh, right, yes. We need to break it down to its base, com base molecular components first. And the way we do that is with this big machine in the foreground right here. We need to break down the insulation to its base molecule. Yes. Still a quantity of polybaryl carbonate. Yay! Why do we got to do that? Because that's the stuff that you use to make the laughing gas with. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. You gotcha. failed to obtain. Well, then do it. So yeah, we have it now, and now we should be able to use it. And pretty much. Take this, put this in here. So, when do they mix up the uh, the away team? Do they ever? Do you ever get to go down with Chekhov or Scotty or her? Um, yes, eventually. Yes, feed is Not as much in this game. The sequels they do way, way more of that. Uh, Kirk is. You I'm not complaining. The key team the is usually Spock, Kirk, and McCoy. Yeah. But they make. But even in the show, they mix it up. Sometimes you got Chekhov. Yeah. Sometimes yes, you got Sulu. Sometimes you got Ahura. Sometimes you got Scotty. Yeah. Not this, usually Sulu. Sulu's usually on the ship because he's flying it. Yeah. No. This game they have it where it's much more. I think I'll stick to combining two gases in future. All right. So in that case, it would be nitrous oxide combined with. All right. Got it. Nothing happens. Nitrous oxide Gas combined with what? The, uh, the Nitrous insulation? Nitrous oxide, yeah, combined with the insulation will give us the Vulcan laughing gas, so... Which we will need in order to go down. You install the gas tank. Go down on who? Down the stairs in order to get to where everyone is. It's oh, in the security. Oh, that's, that's, why, that's why this place... Haven't you been wondering why this place is, like, completely freaking I thought, empty? I, I thought you meant something else. Yeah. The machine uh, I was wondering why it was empty. I assume they all abandoned the place and the Romulans were holding them captive or some shit. Oh, like damn. Alright, so that's not the correct uh, formula. Alright. So, in that case, get rid of the nitrogen, I guess, and, and just have the oxygen. Gas feed. Which is fine. We'll have to go get more damn. You attach the end polycarbonate, drive. whatever it is. Oh, we gotta get more. Yeah, unfortunately, if you waste the waste the material for that, then it just goes away. Hey, so I guess the one way to make you eat up time if you're not being quick with the spot thing. Absolutely, yeah. It's like you know, that, like I said, this game can get challenging as time goes on. Not just with uh, you grab a handful time factors and such, but also in terms of just how the puzzles are. They start you off relatively easily and then it gets pretty hard the further on you you know it's it's standard difficulty progression but i assume if spock goes down that's game over uh if kirk goes down or spock or mccoy any of the main bridge crew go down then it's game over yeah, figure uh as i said the red shirt is kind of your, expendable yeah he, they are expendable so. you said that they were basically your health meter yep so before any of them will go down red shirt will die yep so in that, Fair enough. In that case, let's see what happens when I mix these three. You install the gas... Because you have to have two canisters on there, so... Rule number one of chemistry, mix things together and see what happens. Is on. Yep. Alright, so this should do it, maybe. Maybe. There we go. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. Nice! An unusual compound, Captain. It can induce laughter and feelings of exhilaration in some. 
much the way nitrous <laughs> oxide affects humans. It doesn't affect Vulcans, of course. <laughs> Actually, Doctor, both Romulans and Vulcans suffer its effects. <laughs> Why, that's just dandy. Vulcan <laughs> laughing gas. <laughs> he sounds excited. <laughs> Please, Doctor, this is not a laughing matter. <laughs> wow, a real knee slapper you that one. You failed to obtain... Uh... So what you want to do, Ben, is you want to twist you that cap just a little bit and just waft it over no, near Mr. Spock. Oh, trust me, the temptation is out of this world, but uh, we have a job to do. By the way, if I were to approach that gladder, I would get a disruptor beam to the face. Oh, well, will I you get a, you will you get a disruptor beam to the face next time on The Greatest Games Ever Made? Spock. I guess we we'll find out. the canister right here if you like. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. We're back. And we're about to do something with the Romulans with the laughing gas that I want to give them the laughing gas. Yep. We're going to do the laughing gas. Yep. I would strongly recommend against it, Doctor. <laughs> I wouldn't. No. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Spock. You are absolutely overruled. But, of course, if we release it in here, it's not going to do anything because the Romulans aren't here. They're downstairs. we got to put it in the, uh, it said electric, in the insulation, right? Yep. In the, ins in the ventilation Nothing system. report which this is a screen and filter for the ventilation shaft. How useful. Pop it in. It is, of course, screwed shut, so I have to use the screwdriver to pry it off. The vent is now open. There are no it screwdrivers in the future, Ben. Have you ever seen an episode yep. of Scotty in the engineering room? The Romulans want biological warfare? Well, okay. they'll get chemical warfare instead. With hiss, the Romulan laughing gas billows down the vent. You hear the muffled sounds through the vent of hearty Romulan laughter. Followed by the dull thud of bodies hitting the deck. Whoa, what? <laughs> I wish there was a camera feed for this. Oh boy. Well, you can hear them sort of, yeah. The important thing is that we did it. Yep. Let's go see what happened to the ho what happens when a Romulan has a hangover. Oh boy, yeah. It's a little bit more than a hangover, I'm afraid. Yeah, they're all affected by stuff. Are they dead? So we've got to help these men before they die. They're still yeah. affected with the virus, huh? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mr. McCoy, if you would. Yep. Oh, they're waking up. Yep. I don't see why the virus cure would, uh... cure them of their laughing gas fit. The Romulans still weak. Well, that's the thing. To get up. They've all been cured. Yeah, it wouldn't. Like, they... They're severely dehydrated, but they'll live. We got to them in time. Yay! Severely dehydrated, you say? So we give them the water. Yeah, let's show them Extra a little... Extra points. Let's show them a little bit of humanitarianism. Romulans Definitely. breathe thirstily and empty the container. Take it easy now. You'll feel better in a few minutes. Good thing we had the water available, Jim. Yep. We aren't barbarians, in spite of what some people think. And, because I happen to be psychic... I'm going to go make some more. So yeah, let's go. So ahead. I think, or you've played this game before. Uh, I'll leave that to the viewer to decide. That's anyway, <laughs> how about that? Conveniently, the H two O is already set up. Clean drink of water, but I don't see it. Mr. Spock, you just saw its application. How could you be so callous? So do they just go back to that uh, sequence when you review the room? Or does it do that after you've woken up the Romulan so you don't have to fiddle around? Uh, what sequence? What exactly are you referring the, to? Uh, the oxygen-hydrogen uh, tanks. Oh, no, yeah, it's left. it was left in the same place that I had it before. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, like, I left, it, left there, it like that. Yeah, I left it like that. Almost like I meant to. Almost. Well, that's the first time for everything. First time for what? Being surrounded by Romulans and not at gunpoint. <laughs> True enough. And good I times for head by all. In more comfortable situations, Captain. I know, Mr. Spock, but we'll get through this. <laughs> These Romulans appear to be a negligible threat, sir. Oh, I wouldn't let them hear you say that. They just need some rest. Yep. So now we go in uh, restricted over here. Yep, restricted area. Whoa, Ben, it's restricted. What are you doing? Whoa! They seem to be tied up. Yep. Yeah, first help the hostages. Is that Marcus? Yep, that's her, all right. Thank God it's you, Jim. I'm so glad you came. Is she preggers yet? Probably not, no. <laughs> Thank you for saving our station. Oh, she'll be preggers soon enough. Yep. First thing we gotta do... 
Who, though, for anything else? Scan. I reiterate that Kirk gets Marcus Brady. Well, I haven't yet did the trick, Jim, but the Romulan is still very, very sick. He's only got hours left. Give him the treatment. case, yeah. Shoot him up with that dildo and let's see what happens. Yep. The Romulan pre-ass stirs weakly, then begins it. to get up. <laughs> he has been cured. In the ass. He's severely dehydrated, but he'll live. I mean, that's why they give little kid shots, right? In the in the upper thigh, quote-unquote. Uh-huh. All right. The Romulan and they cry and cry and, and cry. empties the container. Take it easy now. You'll feel better in a few minutes. Good thing we had the water available, Jim. We aren't barbarians, in spite of what some might think. Yep. And Take yeah, that, just to confirm what I know everyone is wondering. What? Yep, wrong one. <laughs> what? Yes, that is what you think it is. Fascinating. The Genesis device, device contains over 10 million forms of life, patterns I have never seen before. We call this the cradle, Mr. Spock. Huh? One day I hope From something will happen. The Star Trek movie Wrath of Khan. Yep. Genesis. And the search for Spock, don't forget. Technically, it was Act. only in Wrath of Khan, but the after effects were the in after the search effects for were Spock. in the search for Spock, yes. Yes, indeed. So, yes. Yes, we have many options to discuss. These Romulans appear to be a Nick. Yeah. Is he going to say anything? I have called off the Romulan attack on this station, Kirk. I believed your virus was some kind of deliberate attack. But your great honor and compassion have convinced me otherwise. You, Aha! You, you pussy also bitch. conducted yourself in the most honorable fashion, Centurion Priax. You may return to Romulan space without Federation interference. I assure you, the Federation would never undertake such a foul program. It was all an accident, right, Dr. Marcus? <laughs> Save it for someone who's buying Priax. <laughs> Leave the Federation space immediately or we'll scatter your atoms across the quadrant. <laughs> you also conducted yourself in the most honorable fashion, Centurion Priax. Yeah, let's... I would space, go with number two, you know, because he did not. Face. Well, no. Does he like to hear number one? Uh, yeah, he prefers to hear number one because that's his problem right now, is that he's kind of trapped in Federation space under after having made a tactical error. And he is surrounded by Federation ships and people, etc. He doesn't care about our excuses. And what else can we say to him that would convince him that this isn't a thing? You know, let's just give him an out. You are an honorable adversary, Kirk. Jolon True. You are also a worthy opponent, Preax. May you live long and prosper. Raise it. Mr. Spock raises an eyebrow. You'll never cease to amaze me, yeah, Jim. Jolon True, the Romulan salute words. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Carol. Yeah, technically I could have talked to Carol. This guy over next to her is the station administrator. So he is the one who's actually in charge of everything. Dr. Carol is just the head of uh, research, the head scientist and researcher here. Uh, she would have talked a little bit about Genesis, about the Genesis torpedo, basically saying that, yeah, it's, yeah, this is something really secret, really remarkable, as she said when we scanned the torpedo itself, etc. And of course, we all know where that's going, but yeah. They're afraid to turn to a weapon. Yeah, and they've already had an encounter and such, much beforehand. I d and she may have got already had at David by this point, and she's just not telling uh, Jim about it. So he has a right to know, Benjamin. Well, gentlemen, let's go home. Yeah, well... I actually don't know how old the kid was. Well, I guess he, he was an adult by the time he showed him around for gone. Yeah, so she... So, considering that that was several... That that was several years later, he's probably just a baby right now. Yes, it's from Starfleet. On screen with her. We have read your report on the problems at ARC-7 and evaluate your performance at 100%. You and your crew receive perfect mission, Jim. You are a model for all Starfleet. Damn straight, So, how about that promotion, lady? <laughs> and if I'll see Carol again. <laughs> no. Well, if you don't, you can always drown your sorrow in some Romulan ale. That's <laughs> illegal, Bones. Tell that to the Romulans, Jim. <laughs> I found a whole case they brought on board, the R7. Nice! They'll never replace Scotch, Captain. <laughs> that is all, Mr. Scott. <laughs> I mean, why not both? Yeah, I mean, what? <laughs> Maybe mix the Romulan ale with some scotch. That might be a nice mix. Seriously. Who knows? Mixed drinks are... Another fine mix. Oh, no. Oh, oh this one. Another fine Oh, mix. this. Oh. Priority message from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. We have reports of an undetermined number Admiral, of Admiral. pirate ships in your sector. 
You are ordered to proceed to the Harlequin Star no, System. Nelasi, the Harlequin Star System. Harlequin, a jester. Er, a comedian, if you will. Uh, this is gonna be a comedic uh, episode. Oh boy! Harlequin, a Federation star system with two class uh, and worlds. Oh, it's an Earth colony and a non aligned world. That's heavily involved in a lossy crap, so yeah, that's gonna be absolutely save wonderful me, right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it now. Just I need in the case star chart. Happen. Yep, where are we star going? Star chart out. We are going to the Harlequin system. All right, Harlequin. That's number four, which is up where number five. So, uh, not three, but the one. To this the, one. Yes. The right one. Yep. That one. Okay. Woo! Boom! Oops. We have arrived at Harlequin. Yep. Two of your last few ships approaching the captain. Oh shit! Call them and tell them I hate them. Probably a scout. He had left the set to adjust as we arrived. It appears likely that we interrupted the pirate attack on the scout. Oh, good. We helped someone. That's useful. This is from the Alassie captain, sir. I don't know, man. Helping's a lot of work. happens to those who come between us and our prey. Prepare to die! He looks familiar, man. Oh, boy. Raising seals. Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he looks exactly oh, like the last this. Alassie captain that we dealt with. Yeah, and the one before that. And the one, and the one before that. that. Yeah. How very close ever of you. But yes, now we're dealing with multiple vessels. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit trickier in order to actually succeed. I'm not trying to say all the losses look alike. I just think the same guy is the captain of all the ships. And he just, and he just gets around. Alright, so in order to win against the these battles, you use try and true tactics. And basically, you need to focus your fire on one ship. And if at all possible, go as fast as you can. And in order to keep them from being able to chip you, one thing about Lossy ships is that they do not have the same top speed as the as the Enterprise. They're slow. A little bit slower, yeah. How much punishment do they take? Uh, not as much. Was that the sign of it exploding or just getting hit? I think that one was just leaving, so we're just gonna. I think I chased that other one off, so we're just gonna. Focus on you, and once you're, and once he's gone, then that will take care of this. I only see the one on the radar. I see that. Yeah, the other one just bugged out. I just left. Left, I think he just escaped because uh, did I think. They do we, that? Yeah, I think we did. Up, oh, our nacelles damaged. That's what that red marker on the uh, thing means. That can't be. Good. No, we need those. We need those to fly, baby. Yep. Fortunately, Mr. Scott does do automatic repairs. Again, if you want him to focus on something important. Ah, there we go. The trail of the scout ship leads to the Harlequin system, Captain. He Fort ran away like a little bitch. Yeah, but, well, he's a scout versus two Alasi Raiders. You know, what the hell? The signal, well, maybe he should have chosen a different vocation. Maybe something like that involves a nice farm, a little house in the prairie. Hold up. I can't believe they said you to rescue me. That sounds like... Oh, no, God. Is that mud? <laughs> is that mud? <laughs> it's mud! <laughs> oh, mud. <laughs> Reoccurring Star Trek, I want to say villain, but he's really more of an annoying fool. The f Ah, Harry Mud, before Ferengi, there was mud. Fancy that. Who's <laughs> here? You know, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, Young Mud actually shows up in a few episodes of Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> he's, he's quite a fascinating character in Discovery. Oh boy! Classic mud. I'm afraid his ship is registered, Captain. Damn it! Regulations require we respond to his distress signal. Do they require that we do it quickly? Because I could think maybe we should go down to the mess hall, get a burrito, no. maybe have some drinks. No. no. I mean, mud will still be there when we're done. Lauren Shields, Captain. All right, where are we going? Yeah, we are going. You don't have to tell me this one. This one is actually something that you can guess. If you weren't paying attention, it's actually... Oh, it's the right next door? Yeah, yep. it's the one Makes right sense. next to it. Harada. So, yeah. Off we go. And it's now green. it pulls us directly into orbit with this... 
What that? on God's green earth is that? That is not very much a uh, scout ship. I have no idea what the hell that is. Mr. Spock. I would very much like to see this alien ship. Ah. The prospect of being a hardcore defendant mind again gives me pause. <laughs> the prospect of being a hardcore defendant mind again gives me pause. Ah, yeah, I would think so. With an neutron pulsar in the vicinity causing difficulties with our sensual readings, I was able to trace my transmission to this derelict. Hmm. So, our friend Harry is on board, no doubt. Can you tell me anything about the derelict vessel? There are six major subdivisions hmm. within the hull. All systems are down. There is, however, limited atmospheric integrity. Ah. The environment appears to be the result of a temporary saber ship life support generator. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly a reliable model. Sounds like something that Harry installed. Yeah. We're being hailed by Mr. Mudd, sir. Captain, you came by touch. Harry, I have to be touched in the head. <laughs> I have to do with you. How's your lovely wife, Stella? Oh, Stella? It was a dirty trick, Kirk. However, you'll be glad to know I let bygones be bygones. Give the Enterprise the standby and fend off any pilots. I'll just finish my salvage operations here and be out of your hair. Uh-huh, yeah. Computer records document that you filed notice that there was no salvageable value here and that the ship was a common passenger tug. Oh! Did I say no value? <laughs> Minimal, <laughs> Captain. Minimal. I'm trying to make nothing look promising where I've hired employees. Uh-huh. Okay, that, that will be a great one. Yes. I would say your judgment is never perfect. Harry. I like that better, Perhaps yes. We should beam over and judge the situation for ourselves. <laughs> ah, that isn't necessary, Kirk. Yeah, I can handle. I mean. Harry, relax, we're old friends. <laughs> things aren't picked up and looking neat. Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a character. Oh boy, is he. I love the way the transporters look at this. Uh huh. And there he is. Welcome, Captain Gag. So glad you're here. The Elazi have been terrible trouble to me. Oh, have they? Well, you're terrible trouble to me, Harry. Tell me what this is all about. <laughs> I happened upon this ship not long ago and dutifully registered as salvage, mind you. Uh huh. In the hole yeah. here, I discovered one of these devices in that box over there. When I tried one on a wall, it floated off the grease and dirt. Perfect for cleaning, near as I could see. Uh -huh. I peddled a few of these Mud's Miracle Degrimers, and everything was going perfectly well. But... Went wrong, right? <laughs> Actually, no, Doctor, not then. I started offering a few other little items I found. Mud's Limited Coffee Substitute. A great little specialty item. Ew. Lenses to affirm packaging, build your own telescope kits. Uh -huh. The collection of novelty paints, things like that. Get on with it, Harry. All of a sudden, the Elazi pirates are asking for me in every quadrant, wanting to know where I'm getting my goods. I see, Harry. Well, we'll look around uh -huh. here while the Enterprise remains close by. Yes. Look around while you like, Captain, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I registered this derelict as my salvage, and I don't want you running off with all my prizes. Uh -huh. Harry... As official representatives of the Federation and of Starfleet, we recognize your rights to legitimate salvage. Need I say more? Legitimate. Yeah, I think... Do I understand? <laughs> I think we all caught that. Captain. Yeah. Carry on, Captain. So, he's getting all this stuff from here, selling it elsewhere, and coming back to get it, and the Yalasi followed him and want a piece. Well, here's the thing Well, here's the thing that's rather puzzling right now, is he doesn't seem to understand why the Yalasi are suddenly wanting a piece. You know, they're pirates. What what would they care about cleaning up dirt and grime and, like, a build your well, own house kit, this paints? Is... Why would they care? Obviously, this is a lot more advanced than that. Harry doesn't even know what this stuff is. And, yeah. assume, and I assume it does a hell of a lot more than just pick up dirt. Yeah, most likely, yes. Most likely. There are That's shiny, multi-sided spherical objects in this box. Let's get... I'm not sure, but there's a possibility that this uh, ship was made by a society more advanced than Federation. Nothing to report. Yeah, yet. that's probably very likely. Hey, right there. So you failed to obtain we're going to want samples of everything you failed to that's obtain in anything, here. Ben. Yep. Done. All right, so we got it. Now, what is it? Oh, it's some sort of yellow sphere. Looks like a honeycomb. And can't scan it. Honeycomb's big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. They're not small. No, no, no. You know, honeycombs, the cereal, mm -hmm. the slogan, you know the one. 
These are there computer we memory transfer media, probably designed for use with the alien computer system. Yeah, that's one of the things about this particular it's game, is that sometimes you use a tricorder, sometimes directly, sometimes you use Mr. Spock. A small energy device with a flanged opening at the front, about the size of one's thumbnail. Okay. Here's the thought, we put the tricorder Dang. inside Mr. Spock's hands and just let him do it all the time. Yeah, that would be... That's what's usually assumed whenever you use a tricorder and whatnot. Dust and grease lifts off the surface, leaving this item clean as new. Interesting. So that's his miracle little degrimer thing. Now, what are these here? This lens about the size Looks of like one's grime. thumbnail magnifies like a fine optical glass. Okay. Done. All right, so we got that. Take all the stuff, Ben. I did. So, yeah, this is a magnifier, but they but it said the ma magnifying lens was about the size of the grimer. So you put it in the grimer. Yep. These two things fit together like they were made for each other. And then, what happens if we use it now? Oh! It's so wet. Well, now I think we know why the Alassi pirates were so interested in finding out where Mutt was getting these. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, then. That's kind of... Nothing to report. How did they know that, though? Yep. Why do I have the feeling that I'm about to have a bad day? <laughs> Kirk, now that we're together... That's why. <laughs> it was a rhetorical questionnaire. <laughs> Jim, you can't seriously be thinking of helping Mud after all he's done. <laughs> Bones, Federation law is clear on this. Federation law protects everyone, even Harry Mudd. Yeah, Unfortunately. We all know how devoted I am to Federation law. Uh-huh. About as much as the Klingons are devoted to pacifism. Yes. Got him! <laughs> so, you say you know how to break the gambling machines on Curlon 4. It's a system that cost a gambler his life, boy. Uh-huh. He crawled up to me and whispered in his dying breath. <laughs> it can be yours for a mere 200 credits. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mud. My mother didn't raise any fools in her family. Starfleet! <laughs> You're all the same. No sense of adventure! No sense of adventure in Starfleet. Yeah. yeah. We Great will correct Mark, that Captain. vast nice. misinterpretation of what Starfleet is about Starfleet. Starfleet. next time on The Greatest Games Ever Made. Yep. Mr. Spock! <laughs> whatever gave you that impression? <laughs> I thought Vulcans was supposed to be illogical. This guy. I am. Your record is that of a greedy, amoral, sociopathic fraud that preys upon human emotion, most notably gullibility. For once, Spock, I couldn't have said it better myself. Why, I've never been so insulted in all my life. Good. Now storm off and be out, out of here so that we can do stuff and you're not. Damn it. Save all right. All right, everyone. Bye. We'll see you next time. Peace. Replace previous game.